hard to believe that this 2018 mailbox Merlot is now the 16th consecutive bottling of this high elevation single vineyard Merlot from the vineyard that we call the Mailbox Vineyard. Now we haven't always called it the Mailbox Vineyard and some of us secretly still don't because in reality this is actually the Lower Bowl Vineyard which is named this way 45 years ago. But uh, here's, here's the backstory. Um, 22 years ago I was blending my first vintage as the president of the Robert Keenan Winery, the 97 vintage in the spring of 99 and I chose to make one reserve wine that year and it was a single vineyard Merlot bottling from the bottom of the big vineyard um, that the bottom of that big vineyard abuts the uh, mouth of the driveway where the real mailboxes are so I decided to call it mailbox vineyard Merlot mailbox Merlot I love alliteration we would never called it that but I thought it'd be kind of great and also thought that what will make this wine really alluring when we go to sell it in roughly 2001 was that uh, this was a once only wine. We will never be able to make this wine again because after the harvest of 97 was complete, uh, we had to rip out the entire 20 acre vineyard, which was mostly Cabernet, but some Cab Franc and the Merlot at the bottom uh, because of Phylloxera. And it was the last vineyard that we replanted in that uh, mid to late 90s replanting. And now all those vineyards are over the age of 20, which is phenomenal. So I go to market with this very simple story. It's a single vineyard Merlot from where the mailboxes are, hence the name mailbox. And you'll never, ever see this wine again. And I thought I told a very clear and simple story. But uh, a year later and the following year and the next year, people kept irritatingly asking for the next release of the mailbox Merlot because that name really just hit a mark. I was very frustrated we couldn't produce another vintage because we ripped out the Merlot and replaced it with Cabernet Sauvignon and moved Merlot to three other places on the property. So fast forward to the 2003 vintage, we're getting ready to release that and uh, we open it up and we're all impressed by this earthy spicy note that we didn't even see in barrel and I decided to call it you know, the Reserve Merlot. And I said to my guys, I said, look, I want to put a name on the label besides the word Reserve, which we did once in 2000, um, and actually in 2002. I said, I want to put a vineyard name on here. And you, you know I'm not going to put the word Lower Bowl on here because it just won't translate. We love the name, but it won't really work for the public. And I said, I want to bring that name Mailbox back because it was so, it, it just hit such a nerve. So we put a little fake Mailbox out there at the top of the Lower Bowl and began using that vineyard in 2003 as the Reserve Merlot. And now we're on vintage number 16. And then to, to really kind of commemorate this for my birthday, about five years ago, Riley made about a 12 foot high uh, mailbox sculpture and put it out there. So it's it's really visible from the, from the tasting room balcony now. So uh, this has become really part of our, our reserved here. It's a fantastic vineyard. 2018 is a great vintage. This should be in the cellar. This is literally one of the best Merlots uh, you can buy from, I think, from the entire New World. So this is a world-class wine uh, from a completely mature vineyard and a great vintage. So um, gobble this uh, small production wine up while you can. Cheers. Cheers.